That's right, Haley, but here in South Kansas City, people who live here, who jog and even bike here along Indian Creek Trail have been uneasy for the last year. And although that there was one arrest today in connection with one of those murders here on the trails, there's still some sense of hope that there will be some sort of justice for the other three victims. In the midst of the daily bike traffic, there's Tom McKeon walking his dog. She's the number one thing I protect when I'm out on this trail. When we first met in June, Come on. McKeon was concerned about safety. I've been very vigilant along the trails. Four men were murdered along the trail, their killer at large. McKeon was friends with Tim Rice, murdered back in April. Super nice guy, he had a heart of gold. He'd do anything in the world for anybody you know, do anything to help him out, and he was a homeless man. There's still some pain, but some relief in McKeon's stride. Frederick Scott charged with one of the trail murders. I've seen him around with other people, and he, he, al he always kind of hung off by himself. Scott told police he frequented the trail. McKeon picked up on that too. So I was always very leery of him. So I, you know, I usually kept my distance from him. With one arrest, McKeon is hopeful for more relief to help restore peace back on these trails. The homeless victim that was killed on the trails back in April was shot with a nine millimeter handgun. We later learned through court documents today that just two hours after that homicide, we learned that the suspect Scott also reported his nine millimeter handgun stolen. Haley. Now, Taisha, we also heard that Scott was upset about his brother's death back in 2015. Is there any word whether that could have maybe been a motive? Jackson County prosecutor Jean Peters Baker mentioned that earlier today in the press conference. She says while she is aware of that, she says there's no sort of motive to help make any of this make any sense.